And in the United States today, newly released documents show that a grand jury in Colorado wanted to indict the parents of John Benet Ramsey. The body of the six-year-old girl was found in the basement of the Ramsey house the day after Christmas in 1996. Three years later, the grand jury voted to indict John and Patsy Ramsey of child abuse and another charge that the couple, excuse me, the couple helped whoever killed their daughter but did not name any suspect. The prosecutor in the case refused to sign the indictment or prosecute the couple, saying there was not enough evidence to file charges. Joining us on the phone from Denver to discuss the new revelations is Craig Silverman. He is a Colorado trial attorney and former Denver, Denver deputy chief district attorney. He's been tweeting analysis on the indictment all day, and I want to thank you so much for uh, joining us. You're welcome. Uh, you know, I've seen some of your, your, your tweets. Before I get to them specifically, in general, what's been your reaction to the revelations that have come out with this grand jury indictment? We heard about this in January of 2013 when the reporter, Charlie Brennan, who used to cover this case for the Rocky Mountain News and now works for the Boulder Daily Camera, he broke this story about the grand jury indicting Jean Benet's parents way back in October of 1999. But to confirm this story, he sued the Boulder DA. A judge heard the case and said, you're right, these are public documents, and uh, the prior DA, Alex Hunter, should not have kept this information hidden. He had a right not to prosecute, but once he let the grand jury deliberate and vote, he, he could not hide it away. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I also read that uh, when it became clear that uh, the indictment was going to be made public, that John Ramsey, through his attorney, petitioned that the entire proceeding be released. Why would he do that? It's interesting. I mean, it's a public posture. Uh, it was unlikely. I don't, uh, the judge said it can't be accomplished because of grand jury secrecy. Heck, the grand jury may have explained why they returned these charges, but Judge, Judge Lohenbach determined that he would only release uh, the actual charges, uh, those four pages that bring the two charges one, against John Ramsey and Patricia Ramsey for the death of their daughter, Sean Benet. Yeah, uh, it's been alleged many times that there was some sort of uh, political pressure to uh, not bring this indictment against John and Patsy Ramsey. What would that have been entailed? Would it, well, would it have Boulder, just been because Boulder, of this? Boulder, Colorado is a liberal place. The Boulder DA was a liberal Democrat. The Ramseys hired lawyers who were uh, very skilled and politically connected. I would say that uh, the Boulder DA, Alex Hunter, was legendary for his reluctance to bring charges, not just in this case, but in all sorts of other cases, he was hardly an aggressive prosecutor. The new prosecutor in town, Stan Garnett, is different than Alex Hunter. He was raised in the Denver DA's office. I worked with him there. And I think, like so many people, he'd like to have a chance to uh, bring justice for Jean Benet. You, in one of your tweets, you ask a series of questions, some of which you've already addressed. Why does the DA have the grand jury deliberate and vote if he's not going to pursue? Why did Alex Hunter do so many strange things? And then you say something that's very uh, interesting and provocative, perhaps. Was it dissension among the DAs? Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Alex Hunter and the Boulder Police Chief Tom Kobe just put on a show of ineptitude during 1997 as this uh, Christmas 1996 crime uh, was being investigated and prosecuted. Tom Kobe was replaced as Boulder Police Chief because of his performance, and Mark Beckner uh, was elevated to the job, uh, and he still holds it. Over the course of the years, Alex Hunter and then his successor, Mary Lacey, took the case away from the Boulder Police Department and put it in their office. When Stan Garnett took over, he gave it back to the Boulder Police. And so far as Alex Hunter, his performance was so buffoonish that successive Colorado governors, Democrat Roy Romer, appointed some other district attorneys to kind of oversee what was going on there in Boulder. Mm -hmm. And then Bill Owens, a Republican, he also tried to take it away from Alex Hunter, but the reality was Alex Hunter was the longtime 
elected district attorney in Boulder. Okay. He didn't actually do the presentation to the grand jury. They brought in some Denver prosecutors, Mitch Morrissey, Mike Kane, and an Adams County prosecutor, Bruce Levin. So somebody had to prepare these charges that were submitted to the grand jury, and I speculate that there might, among those four prosecutors and others were involved, some who favored prosecuting the Ramseys. Mm. But, of course, Alex Hunter had the final vote in that regard. And it's amazing how they kept this secret for so many years. Yeah, it's such a convoluted process to a true tragedy indeed. Craig Silverman, thank you so much for taking some time with My us. My pleasure. Thank you.